Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menings. And today I'm on with my good friend, Kilthanis. And in today's episode, we're going to ask the question, is Star Citizen a ripoff? So this is our thoughts on it, on whether we think it's a ripoff and our thoughts on the game. And just a little discussion. In the background will just be some gameplay footage that we've recorded. Nothing to really do much with what we're talking about apart from it being the same game and what we've been doing in it um so yeah this is just our thoughts we hope you like this video if you do like this video don't forget to take that pointer and tickle that like button it really helps us out and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification for more videos as they drop and uh, yeah this is our thoughts we hope you like it we'll see you out in the verse your thoughts do you think star citizen is a ripoff yes (laughs) (laughs) me too Let's stop playing it. <laughs> I'd keep that on there, actually, to be honest. It's silly, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> we look silly. Um, yeah. Is it a rip-off? No. Why? No. No. Um, because I've been playing for the best part of four months. And, you know, it's I fully appreciate where the game is. Um, I appreciate that... Um, it's still in dev. There's loads of issues. I mean, we've you know obviously documented quite a few of these issues in our videos, haven't we? Yeah. Um, in terms of like you know falling lifts and doing this and doing that and dying a lot and but it's still still got something there. Still got a spark. Still still got something that you think you know that you're feeling part of something that's going to be a lot a lot bigger. You know that's where I feel. You know the the interest is so you know that this game's going to develop and next year is probably going to be the the real crux of it i think we'll soon find out next year whether this is you know a supposed con or yeah. rip off or whatever they'd call it um but i i don't think so you know I've, I've we've had so much fun in this where i've not had that in in a game since warcraft essentially. yeah in, in the early days of Warcraft in 1990, wherever it was, uh, no, 2000, sorry, 2006, 2007, when it was, you know, again, in its in, not to say in infancy, but it was, it was just, it was such a new game, mm. diff, you know, new genre, just set all the, the, you know, the benchmarks for every MMO, you know, up till now, but it still does. But this is again feels to me like it's setting up for being the benchmark for every game coming forward. You know, to, yeah. to compete with this, you know, this the whole, you know, the whole spectrum. I, I think, you know, obviously server meshing has been a big thing, but I think they need to, you know, not go over the top there because I think it just clog the game up. Yeah. Um, and we don't want that. You know, we don't want to be queuing for stuff. Yeah. You know, we want to be, we want to be partaking in it. We, you know, I mean, yesterday, for instance, we just spent all evening just getting gear together, and it was entertaining. Yeah. You know, and if you watch, um, you know, one of the videos that Tony's putting out, you'll see, you know, my classic driving. It's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a sight to behold. But they're quite awkward to, to, you know, to get right those those little buggies. But they are fun, you know. And I, I think if you've got a ship that can carry one, I would definitely advise anyone to just lob it in the back, you know, unless you're doing trading, of course. And they're only about know, five grand. They're only about five grand. Five, yeah, just over five thousand five hundred. Um, but yeah. you, you know, you, you you can just you know dump your ship somewhere. I mean, how many how many treks have we done from for a bunker mission because we're not sure whether we're going to get shot down or not? Yeah. We park about two thousand meters away, and you, you, it takes you ten minutes to get there. Yeah. So I mean, what game what game can you do that in? You know what I mean? You you know you can park as far away as you want, and then just sort of hike it in. Yeah. You know, it's it's there's the scope is like it's almost like trying to be real life. Do you know what I mean? Where you just you know every decision you do has a has a repercussion. Um, sure, it's not perfect, but so so where does the know. question come in for you? Where you know where you're here? Where where you? Why are you hearing? It's a rip off. Why why do oh, people just, think uh, it's a rip off? I think it's because it's an incomplete game. I think that's what it is. It's not like a off the shelf here it is beginning and end i don't ever see a beginning and end game anyway yeah this is not a beginning and end game this is going to be expansive it's going to have more systems in there it's going to have more 
races, more cultures, more ships, more weapons, more everything, more drama. One, just, one thing uh, on that for me is if you look at Elite Dangerous, that's yeah. a complete game. It's it's done. It's how it's yeah. you know yeah they're still expanding on it, but it, but it's complete and. Um, yeah. What's different yeah. from that to this? Apart from it's that's got more, more everything. Um, that's got more vi uh, places to visit. But it, 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 I'll tell you everything. That I mean, being no, out you know. and this not being out. Yeah. What's the difference? See, so you 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 played obviously. I played about five minutes of um, Frontier before Elite Dangerous, whatever it is, before yeah. hopping onto this because um, this is this is a game that myself and my son looked at. <sighs> 2007 I guess you know it was like maybe later no not 2007 Jesus I've got that in the brain um, 15, 2000, 15, 12, 2017 was I think it was 2017 yeah um, and it was not really playable with uh, you know the PC we had but you could see the, the potential and I've kind of kept my eye on it and then obviously you know life goes on and you're doing other stuff and you start playing Elite Dangerous and I started playing it, and I thought, yeah, this is all right. And I, and I, I just struck me about, you know, hang on a minute, you know, what's happened to Star Citizen? So we had a little conversation about Star Citizen, and then there it is, you know, Elite Dangerous yeah. is just gone. You know, I don't know whether that's... The thing is, is Elite yeah. Dangerous, I was playing Elite Dangerous on the Xbox, and they, yeah. and they didn't bring the Odyssey uh, part to the Xbox. No, that's so they right. basically stopped I... working on the Xbox part of it so they could come yeah. straight on the PC. And that, for I, me, I... was devastating because I, would, yeah. I was loving Elite Dangerous. But after playing Elite Dangerous and playing Star Citizen in alpha mode, Star yeah. Citizen blows Elite Dangerous out of the water for me. In, and in it's only way. in alpha mode. Yeah, so in, in if every you way. pay £40 every... for Elite Dangerous... Yeah. How is that yeah. not a ripoff when uh, yeah. when Star Citizen How is that a rip has more it, to it? it? Is, yeah, it's it, you know for me the the moments I had on Elite Dangerous it was and looking at the general vibe of the game it was dying. Yeah, um, even with Odyssey on the Xbox or whatever, it, I still think it was dying anyway, yeah. um, which is sad um, because obviously there's a bit of history with Elite. Yeah, but you know these things happen. You know we, we move through phases. Um, It'd have been and... nice if, like, if, if um, Cloud Imperium and, and um, um, joined forces. The, yeah, mm. the joined forces, the ones who were doing elite joined forces. Think, yeah. I, when I first looked at this game in 2017 or 2016 or whatever it was, or some, that what what put me, you know, it made my eyes sort of open was the the detail. You know, there was a, I think there was a couple of ships ahead, and there was a ship, and it was like. You, you just walk in there and I'm like, wow, you're walking into it. Yeah. And you look at the detail and you look at all the, you know, the, the cabins and you can see missiles and see all this sort of stuff just wandering around. And I'm thinking, I've, no, I've never really seen that. Yeah, you, you know, couldn't do that with Elite Dangerous. Game. I'm not too sure if you could do it with Odyssey um, because yeah. I never got to get to play Odyssey. I mean, I've seen a couple of videos on it and it doesn't look anywhere near as yeah. good as this. Um, no, that's it. That's it. It's... it's and that's what struck me. And then there was a mission that you had to go and find something in this Mitrai system. You know, it's Mitrai's and stuff. And the, there's a, these guys which are quite entertaining and quite funny. Unlike us, they were really funny. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and they were noobs either. But they went in the they did this mission. I was like, man, that's amazing. You imagine if you actually could run that. Because obviously the complaints at the time were, you know, you, you needed like, you know, a 23rd century PC to run it and stuff like that. Um, mm. um, and obviously they had the optimization optimization issues as well and all that sort of malarkey. Um, so it was always kind of in the back burner but kind of forgotten in my mind because because I've always wanted to play a soap opera yeah. type game where you can be what you want to be mm -hmm. and do what you want to do. Yeah. And, and that's, 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 that's what Elite was to me on the Amiga. I mean, mm. Elite was, yeah. you know, had all that yeah. on the Amiga for me. That obviously is yeah. not like this where you could walk around your ship and all that stuff, but that's where, you know, where I got started. And well, I would... Yeah, so I was just going to chip in and say the other thing that um, took blew me away was actually, fr you know, from space landing on a planet. Yeah. With, you know, seamless, just cruising, land on a planet. I mean, I was yeah. like, oh, that's amazing. Because usually you got a loading screen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that 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 blew me away. Uh, but 
Is it a rip-off? Time will tell. People always have an opinion on it, but for me personally... I, no, I don't even think not, time will tell close. if it's a rip-off because... Not even close. Because for but me... But next year is important. Yeah, yeah but, but even that for me, you're not even time will tell. Already the answers for it, me is it's, not. It's, because it's, if it, I paid... Well, anyone that's starting yeah. out on it will pay 40 quid. <laughs> Yeah. They'll pay forty quid for the game. Yeah, yeah I paid a little bit more. Yeah, you. I mean, yeah. The, the, the... Well, a starter pack, you'll pay forty quid, yeah. and you can yeah, yeah. do what we can do yeah. in the game. I mean, and when, when, yeah, when games are like 50, 60, 70 quid. Yeah. Uh, to me, just that doesn't seem. And and yeah, okay, it's got a few bugs, but you know, there's there's loads of games, games? that are un, unoptimized, you know, badly, and you're running issues and lag and all the rest of it. So you know. I, Many times I mean, I've paid seventy quid for a cod and yeah. and it's been bad. You know, you yeah, can and, go through the floors and stuff like that. Yeah. And yeah, so it's but they the, the the dev seem to be receptive to the issues. You know, there's yeah. loads of you know they're probably inundated with stuff. But you know, it is a it's a game that's unlike anything else in my yeah. opinion. Um, I know they're going to bring out um, Bethesda bringing out. Starfield is it? But that's sort of a, you know, that'd be good for single solo. Player. Play. Yeah, single player. Yeah. Um, but this is just different level stuff. Yeah. In my opinion. This is, yeah, for me, same for me. Like I said, you can pay forty quid and you get Star yeah. Marine, which is a first-person shooter. Yeah. You get Arena yeah. Commander, which is a racer, and um, yeah. um, dog fighting in space. Then you get the universe, you know, the persistent yeah. universe that we play. And I mean, I think there's a there's the main criticisms I suppose of people that have actually played it. Probably, um, is there enough effort put in the persistence? Um, yeah. And is everything sort of Squadron Forty Two? But then I think Squadron Forty Two is probably a grounding place for a lot of the mechanics that go into the game. I'm, yeah, I think just, they, I think they try stuff on Squadron Forty Two yeah. first start and, and then they bring it over here. Yeah. And, and also, it is it does add another element to the money you've just paid. Yeah. So you know, I don't see. I think I'd definitely get really. Squadron Forty Two. I watched um, uh, a video on it the other day. Did the, the intro video? I mean, it looks amazing, Squadron Forty. But I love yeah. single player games, so I'd definitely play Squadron Forty Two. Yeah. But for forty quid, I paid seventy quid for cards and seventy quid for Destiny yeah. and ten pound a month on the uh, or ten pound every couple of months for the. Um, the passes Pass. that you get with it then you know yeah. uh, i pay 10 pound a month with this to get the ship each month and all the other little extras that you can get um yeah. and access to the to the <laughs> testing but for me you, know, you pay 40 quid for a game and well actually you're paying about 15 quid for the game the other 30 quid is for the ship mm, you know yeah. and you can I, I know you can sell your ship um, online yeah. as well so you could get that money back i don't know whether it's frowned upon and all that stuff but you can do it there's, there's probably a market for it, but yeah, you know, I think again, you know, the the bonus with the game is that you can um, you can buy ships in game with in game currency. It takes a lot of effort. Yeah, but like, it's, it's anything, you know, you don't want to make it too easy for people. But it was the point buying the, a game if you don't, if you're just gonna the best, yeah, the best ships. So you don't have to spend like <laughs> like I obviously spent quite a bit on it, um, but for me. You know that option. You know you can get to a point where you think, you know what, I'm quite happy with what I've got at the moment. Mm. You know what I mean? We're running around with um, a Carrick. You've got a Carrick. I've got a 600i, um, which we I don't really use, to be honest. In fairness, yeah. Um, we tend to go, especially when we're doing smaller missions. You, you, you really don't need to bring your big ship out unless you no. can leave it. The, the only know, thing, the only reason I wanted the Carrick was I wanted to try uh, mm. the living. On your ship thing yeah. where you had you know your your little so your little pisces in the hangar and you could log you know go with your character to the places you want to go and then use your little pisces to go down to the planet and do whatever you needed to do i've still got to do a bit more testing with that but that's what that was the whole idea of that yeah but, but for me like i've paid 70 quid for games in the past and then had the the you know the season passes on that and mm. i've never i mean i've enjoyed games but i've never Done any content like we're doing now i've never you know looked yeah. forward Talk to getting on the to game it. and yeah i only jump on because yeah. it's like on multiplayer with friends uh yeah, yeah. whereas with this i want to jump on and i want to play it all the time i don't think it's yeah, a rip-off yeah. but because it's not optimized and it's in alpha mode but for me when the bottom line for me is i played elite dangerous 
and I've played, which was a released game, and I've played this, and this blows Elite Dangerous out of the water. Train, train every day. Every, every department. Every day. Yeah, every department. And so for me, I don't look at it every, well, it's in beta, so it's a rip-off. So what I'm, I paid £40, I'm playing the game. I mean, what more do you want from you from that? Think, what more do you want for your money? I think the CIG obviously has spent a lot of money investment in staff, premises, you know. So you know, I, I don't see, I, I don't see where the the argument about it's a rip off comes into play because there's just too much investment going on. Yeah, but um, but a rip off in what way? Like, I, I'd understand I, if it's, it's, if you paid forty quid and you couldn't drive the ships you was you paid I for. Can only, I'd understand I can that. Only, I can only think it's they people consider it to be a rip off because it's not finished, and I don't know really. But, you know what game is finished because yeah. when you realize when you real when you if you break it down, you know Warcraft had you know had patches they had um, you know plenty of um, uh, you know uh, expansion modules. Is that not a finished game? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, know. Always, I don't, I don't think it's ever going to be a finished game. Never going to be. So basically, it boils down to it's not released. It's not got. It's not officially released. But they could officially release it tomorrow for me and yeah, yeah. still be working on it. They, you know, like they, any other but game. They won't. But they won't. No. They but won't, but, but the thing is, is I said to you the other day, what would you rather do? Uh, a friend of mine just paid seventy quid for the new Modern Warfare Two coming out uh, pre-order, and he's waiting for it to come out basically. He's paid me 70 quid and he's waiting for the game to come out. We paid 40 quid yeah. and we're playing the yeah. game yeah. now. We're playing yeah. it, we're not having to wait for it to come out. And when it does come out, we still get to play it. Like, think, um, also, the argument, I suppose, for these um people is they know the game to mean you know in the offering for, since 2012, yeah. and that's where had the game out, had the game um been sort of not released but started in say. 2020 or 2019 maybe there'll be less clamour it's a rip off yeah you know what I mean it's it's it's, it's the fact it's been going on for 10 for, years I think um, it's been out for hasn't it yeah 10 years and and also the because it's sort of crowdfunded as well yeah you know, people look at that as like you know people have you know invested a lot of money and they've got nothing no return for it but you know we we put our little bit of investment in we you know I've, I've bought the the banner you've got a subscription so you know, yeah. I, I think you know, you know we're doing our little bit as well, and I'm happy to do that because yeah. I feel that we're. But, we, but it's not like we're getting nothing we... out of it. Like no, no, we get no, no. to play the uh, game. Yeah, and it's like I feel like I'm investing in something as well. And not only that, like if people use the codes, like yeah. so our, our affiliate code, they get to play the game for free for a month when they do the events, mm -hmm. so they can go and try yeah. the game and see for themselves yeah. if it's a rip off. I mean, just look at some of the videos we've got going, and you can see. Yeah. For me, it's like and maybe my mindset is different. Of like, I paid forty pound and I'm playing a game. For me, it doesn't matter what the state of the game is in 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 the the title of it, like alpha, beta, released, or whatever. That doesn't that doesn't play to me in, in my mind because I paid forty pound, I got the game, I went out and did missions, I earned money in the game, I got a bigger ship did more missions and different missions and opened different missions and met people and got friends and did different missions on a, a massive multi-cruise ship. And, like, I've had my £40 pounds worth. If the game ended it's, tomorrow, I've had my £40 pounds worth. And it's always going forward. It's stepping forward all the time. It's going forward, yeah. it's developing, there's new stuff going on. You know, every patch comes with new gear, there's new ships, well, ship designs. In terms of like um, what they call gold chips, yeah, um, gold standard, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, gold standard. So you know they're they're not like resting on their laurels and say, well, that's yeah. it, we're done with that. You know they're always looking to improve. I would say virtually every aspect of the game, yeah. and I don't see really what you can argue. For you know, me, can you argue? the only downfall for me is um, the resets um, yeah. because you can't play the game with the goal in mind of, well, I'm going to get all this gear, I'm going to get all this money because you could end up losing it in a wipe. Yeah. That's the only thing That's the only thing for me. But we can actually play the game and do stuff and do all that. And when it wipes, it wipes. We start again. You know, so carry to reset. It's, it's, it's not it's, big I think, well, Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, if they... Uh, they obviously handled it quite badly um, this time, the last reset, because obviously people ended up with... Tens of millions, you know what I mean? Six million, I got. 
Yeah, I, I had uh, 20, or 17, might have been 17 or 20 million. Yeah. So, but that got me the 600i to play with. Yeah. It got you the character player. Yeah. Um, and, you know, obviously, they, you know, if they get it right, you probably end up with like a couple of million. You know, yeah, three million or something like that. Three million, yeah. So when they did the, when they did the, you know, the rate again and adjusted it all, I think I ended up with probably nearly what you had as well. Yeah. Kind of meal. Um, so, and that's, you know, that's not bad. That's a good start on on getting a bigger ship. You yeah. know, someone like, you know, if he was going for the Connie, you know, Connie Phoenix is a ship that I really want to get hold of at some point. Um, you know, it's five mil, five and a half mil. So you're, you're almost halfway there if you play, yeah. it, play it sensibly. So, you know, it is, although you get the reset, it's a bit irritating. Yeah, it's but like, the, you know, the, it's okay. like, you know, it could be six months between each one. You get kind of, but then you get other aspects of the game to make money. Yeah. Well, you know, the, so the thing is, is they didn't, when they did the reset, they didn't reset. Dragon. They didn't reset the rep, but you still kept no. your rep. You Which know, is, so... that, that would be harsh. That would be harsh because the rep is quite a long-winded way of doing stuff. Yeah. You know, it's we're more more money. money in your jobs, basically. Or better yeah. jobs open so, up for you. But but your your reputation just seems to like not move. Yeah. <laughs> like oh my god, I've been doing this for like three or four months but that's fine you know what I mean again it just keeps you you know involved um, and things will develop let's say that's why next year is a really important year but you know, I think it was on about two uh, 318 coming and that's going to be a big yeah. big update 318 and a lot of people look forward to that and I think then not long then it'll be four from that. Yeah. And I think it's, it's yeah. close to, it'll be close to release once they get near four I think I they think were saying they, they kind of I'm guessing they, they it depends on if they change your mind and get like three, three eighteen point two and you know go through that yeah. avenue or whether they go straight to four. Yeah. And I guess it depends on whether they're ready. Well, you can look at the roadmap the on the on the website. You can look at the roadmap. So the thing is, is is like I did a video earlier on the star map. My God, the, the stuff that's coming. It's just like yeah. I'm invested in the game now. Like and yeah. for me, I don't think it's a rip off. I paid forty quid. Yeah, I upgraded no, my I ship know. later on when I, I when I when I got my um my other one, but initially forty quid, and you can then grind yeah, out and get whatever you want. You know, you, you you um you invest in it because you feel that there's something there to invest in. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean, obviously I went way at the top, <laughs> um, and you know got a merchantman coming whenever that turns up, but you know. I'm not fretting about it. I'm not thinking, oh, God, you know, when's that match? I'm just like, you know what? There's plenty of ships out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I can play it. So when it turns up, it turns up. But, you know, mm. again, it's like, it's what do you expect out of a game? You yeah. know, entertainment, essentially, isn't it? We played it. We played a game every night. Yeah. So for me, no. Where possible. <laughs> I don't think it's a rip-off. I can see some sometimes why people might think it. But if you look at it differently, like, you pay forty pound and you're playing the game. That's probably yeah. the bottom line for me. Like I can log on, I can play the game. It might have some bugs here and there. You live with it, like any yeah. other game. The amount of times I've been shot because someone's under the ground in COD. Yeah. Or yeah, someone's yeah. got an aimbot on or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's going to be exploits. I mean, at some point, but you know, we're we're in the, you know, where it's you know where Star Citizen's getting very interesting. You know, where yeah. things are developing. You know the the universe is getting filled. Um, you know there's got they'll have passenger things, and so it's, it's almost like a a soap opera where you can do what you want. So if you want to take a load of passengers from one place to another, you can do it. You know, but if you want to go and mine, you want to go and trade, you want to go and be pirates. You know, the the the, the door is open for for anything. Oh, but the you thing know, is, is is so many different routes you can take, and there's so many new things coming, and oh. the, and the hype being able to hire NCPs at some point. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a classic because, you know, if oh, you NPC. can't, yeah, if you can't, um, if you've got a ship of three or four, you can, you know, as long as you get hire the dollar, them, yeah. yeah, you can hire. That'd the, be a good, the, you know, the, a good part. That'd you know, be and, good. And if they do it, yeah, if they do it on ratings and how good they are, then. If they get the AI, AI right, then you know it'll it'll be like you know almost having your friends playing with you as well. So yeah. So there's there's plenty of stuff coming out that's going to be pretty groundbreaking, I think, in any game. Yeah. 
So uh, that, that's for me. Is yeah, let's wrap this up. Um, for me, I can see why people might think it, but yeah, if you look at it but, in a way of uh, you pay forty pound, you don't even have to pay forty pound. You can wait for a a, a, free, yeah, a free a free fly. Free fly. Um, yeah. Play the game, and for me, I paid forty pound. I could play the game, and then I was like, "Is enough here no, for me to upgrade my ship and pay the ninety pound for a different ship?" 40, 40, 40 quid in this country is a, a takeaway for four. Yeah, but like I say, I pay seventy quid for cod. You know, you know what I mean. But that's, that's the, the reality of it is a takeaway for four people. Yeah. So, and we've had four yeah. months of fun of this, and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I envisage so, we will have many years months, of fun. Months months and months yeah. and you know and look at other you know you know uh, technology as well to play within the game so yeah. Toby eye tracker which is all yeah, you, know, totally tracker, you, know, you know maybe vr at some point who knows but it's the options are there and it's it's the you first know, you've got a first person shooter you've got a race so you've got a life yeah. or like so yeah. like you said yeah, you can choose it what you want to do each day like if i wanted to I, yeah. say like where i used to play cod a lot i could have you know, five friends jump on and we jump on to Star Marine instead and just play, yep. you know, a first person shooter all yep. night. You know, we can yep. do that with this game. It's got everything that you want. It depends on yep. what you want to do. Yeah. Exactly. And it's it's your choice and how you feel the day. I mean, you know, yep. if you're going to go and do you know what, we'll do some trading tonight. Yeah. Go pick up some cargo, drop it off somewhere, you know, make some money, or then, you know, I think you know what I'm done with this today I'll go and do some mining or something you know which yeah. is something we haven't tried yet and then again there's that there's hiring out stuff as well you can hire out yeah. ships to do stuff if you want to go mining for the day you don't have to go and buy the mining yeah. ship you can hire it out for the day yeah. hire it out as you know and, and just you know see and the money, I mean, the money you spend hiring out you earn back within one yeah. trip I mean so, the, yeah. the thing as well it's the thing for me as well is it's graphically you know sumptuous it's, it is some of the scenes Sometimes, that I see. Yeah. Like I went on the star map earlier on, and I was just like, "This is amazing!" Just even the star map. Yeah. Like I could spend yeah. an hour on just the star map, looking around the different uh, systems. It's, it, it's sometimes you, um, you know, a sign of a good game is when you stop and you look and you think, "Wow, that's a great!" Scene. Yeah, I mean, maybe a screenshot. The amount of times I've done that. Mean. The amount of times I've come out of, um, of. Uh, Everest Harbour, and you've got yeah, yeah. Hurston with the sun just on it, and you come out and it's just there, and you're just like, wow, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So, so yeah, no, so for as a wrap up, um, for me, uh, I can see why it. people would think it, but for me, I don't think it is. Um, if play, anyone is, if anyone's playing. looking at it and they're thinking that, then just use our code, it's in the description there. Yeah. Make a, you can make a, an account for free, use that code, and then when you're ready, you'll get a free fly. Um, month come up at some point. They come up every three months or something. I think they've been coming up. Yeah. And um, you, and basically what they do is they'll give you a couple of ships that you can fly around in, and, and just meet people, learn the game, and see for yourself. And then you know you'll probably be like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna you know I'm gonna blow forty quid on this and go get myself an Aurora. So I would always I would always say you know look at the content that's out there on YouTube, whether it be noobs or whether it be Ollie or Space Tomato or Avenger One or any of those guys, you know, and watch what they do, and and because they try and capture the game, obviously, because you know it, they, that's what they're there for to capture the game, you know, and and sort of give the real feel to you know how this game is progressing as well from one month. You know, when we started this game four months ago, it's not the game we're playing now, yeah, for sure. And they fixed a lot of bugs yeah. already as well. From what, and, you know, and what that, we have. that that for me is another major plus. Is the game is always moving on, um, and it's like you know here we you know we, we in another three or four months it won't be the same game we play now no. for sure. It'll be it'll be better. It'll be more features. There'll be more stuff going on. So that's well, the already thing just as well. in the last update they went from yeah. 50, 50 people servers to hundred people servers. Yeah, well, it's hundred is hundred and ten or something. Yes, yeah, like hundred and ten yeah. actually. You know, but I don't think they really should go any for more than that because of you know being in you know playing Warcraft for many years, um, having too many on, on a server can create you know especially in a, in a, um, f a finite world can create issues. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the introduction of, of the persistence, you know, that's that got yeah. introduced now, didn't it? Or does it come in 2.18? I know they were yeah. testing it uh, for, 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 for 
So um, three point two, uh, where basically if you drop something on the planet, you can log off and all that, and then come back a couple of days later, and it's still there. Yeah, like, uh, uh, even weeks. Yeah, I think it's even weeks. That's even brilliant. Months, That's so good. Where it is. I mean, if it's on a planet that you know somewhere that you've no one's really gone to. Yeah, and it could be there for almost ever. But I've dropped off a, I I've dropped off an helmet by accident on one of these stations, and I know when I go back, it'll be there. Yeah, I'll pick it up. But yeah, so for me, final final thoughts. Yeah, um, I don't think <laughs> it is part two, part three. I don't think it is. Um, I don't think it is a rip off. Definitely, I've had my money's worth. If the game ended tomorrow, I wouldn't even complain because I've You'd had my money's worth. I'd be sad, but I've had my money's worth for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's um, you know, it's. it's We'll be playing if it's a rip off. Yeah. Simple as that. So yeah, get the codes, get playing. playing. That. So that's um, that's our thoughts on on whether the game is a rip off. Um, if you liked that video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe, yeah. and bell notification for more videos as we drop. Uh, give some comments below what you think, uh, your thoughts of it. Do you think it's a rip off? And um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you out on the verse.